it's the English Simmer here, and welcome to Smash or Pass The Sims 4 So we are here in The Sims 4. The basis of this video is I'm gonna randomize some Sims and I'm gonna say whether I would smash them or I would pass them. This has been a thing on YouTube now for a few weeks, I wanna say. I don't know, I'm not relevant enough to be in these videos, to make one of these videos, to make a reaction to one of these videos, and hey, even if I was, I probably wouldn't. But I thought, why not hop on the trend? Isn't that what YouTubers do these days? And I'm gonna make a Smash or Pass video on the subject that I enjoy, the sims i also have the best of both worlds i can be greedy as hell and can choose from both genders so suck on that right so we are gonna hop into it this guy is just like he's just the straight sim that we see all the time but i would definitely pass him i was about to say smash by accident but i don't know i'm not feeling him he's he's just he's not my type nope i'd i'd give that a smash sorry mate right next one Oh, hello there. Okay, so he's got like the Justin Bieber old school vibe going on right now. Um, I would, oof. let's be real. If he were real, I would probably smash that. I mean, he might have to get a haircut. You, you get told you shouldn't change for anyone, but I'd probably make him get a haircut nowadays. Anyway, this was popular. He's like 2008 hot, I would say. <laughs> So he'd probably make him change up his hair, even though you shouldn't change for anyone. He would definitely have to change those shoes and that hairstyle though. Moving on, I would say pass. I'm sorry mate, those socks and sandals combo. What are those? No, I definitely would completely pass on this one. Just your outfit mate, lemon and brown and socks and sandals, what are you doing? What are you doing to yourself? You are not doing yourself any favors, my friend. Wow. We have a lot going on. We have a lot going on. I, again, I'm gonna have to say smash. I mean, pass, pass, totally pass. That was meant to be a pass. I'm so not used to saying the word smash or pass and I'm getting them confused. How do people do this video? I don't know, but I would definitely pass. He has too much going on. I'm not feeling the two-tone hair and beard. You know how weird randomized sims look. Although, eyebrows on point right here. I mean, check them brows out. I might just smash him just to get that brow game going. Mine are suffering right now, so I feel like he could, he could pull up the DNA pool with those brows. Wow. Uh, I'm, I mean, I like your style. I like how your shoes match your pants and your sports top and you got your man bun going on. You are in style, my friend. But that chin strap, it's just, I couldn't, I couldn't imagine kissing that. So it's gonna have to be a no. It's gonna have to be a pass on you, mister. Although, like I said, your style on fleek. <laughs> There's always gotta be a flower crown, dude. I swear, since installing this piece of custom content, there's been at least one or two flower crown Dr. Mask men in my Let's Plays. This guy is no exception and I would quite obviously pass on him. I don't know what it is. I just... Anyone who wears shades in an everyday outfit, I just can't trust because I can't see your eyes and the eyes are the most telling signs of a person who you can trust. So I'ma say no to you, mister. Wow, okay. So I like your confidence, question mark. However, what I don't like is your mun chops. Don't get me wrong, I can support a good beard. A good beard, I'm a sucker for. Munchops, I cannot support. He's got the whole trio going on. He's got the Nigel Thornberry nose, he's got the munchops, and he's got the man bun. If that's not the deadly trio of sins, 
then I don't know what is. Add in a crop top to this equation, and you have a complete pass. Ooh, why hello there, Mr. Tall, Dark and Handsome. Mm, bit of a Nigel Thornberry nose. Little bit of a Nigel Thornberry nose, so I don't know how I feel about it. However, from straight on, you're looking pretty damn fine. The shorts... I would probably make you change once again. However, I feel like you're very understated and I like that about you. I feel like you're very debonair and I appreciate it. So therefore, after adding up all of this, I would probably smash you, my friend. If I were drunk and in a club and I saw you, I might go kiss you on the cheek, friendly, and take you out on a date, maybe, who knows. I like how as I am doing this video, I'm literally wearing a top that says power to the girls. Feminism. Doing it right. Speaking of the females and feminism, I obviously don't want to be sexist right now. So we're going to move on to the ladies of this round and see this one right here. I just feel like you're just not natural. You know, with all that eyeshadow, I just feel like you're you're trying to hide something. Maybe it's like crow's feet. I don't know what you've got going on under that hat of yours. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to say I would, although she looks like she has a great set of personalities. However, I'm gonna have to say pass. Oh, she looks quite sweet. Although, again, <laughs> why does she have camel toes on her feet? What is wrong with randomized sims and their styles? What is happening here? Although, I feel like she has a very, very kind face. And her candy floss hair kind of makes her really trustworthy to me. So I would say I would politely smash this lady. She has a kind smile and kind eyes. So therefore, I must have to take her out on a date because who couldn't trust a face like that? She's just adorable. I would highly smash. Again, the females are doing a lot better than the men right now. Although I feel like she's definitely overplucked her eyebrows a little bit. This looks like me back when I was like 14 years old and finally got my eyebrows waxed and this is what they look like. They don't look much better right now at this point in time. However, I would kindly say Smash once again. She has great style, which is so unusual for a randomized sim. I like her hair. I like her face. I approve, although definitely, you know what? We're just going to do it. We're going to colour in those eyebrows a little bit more. Boom. 100% smash. You are a good looking randomized sim. How are the females doing so well right now? Although this lady's style, I don't know. I feel like you're wearing a little bit too much green or teal or whatever the hell you want to call this color. Turquoise, teal, green, blue. I don't know what you would call it. Mint. Mint. Mint with mint would be what you would call it. I'm gonna have to say pass on the mint and baby pink boots. Although they do go together quite well. I just, I never trust a girl in baby pink knee-high boots. It just doesn't feel right to me. The eyebrow situation works both ways though. This, I feel like too much. Too much eyebrows. Too much. Too much going on right here in this section of the face. The eye section of the face is kind of throwing me off. You look like you could kill me in my sleep and I definitely don't trust those eyes. I feel like you're staring into my soul and I don't like it. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to pass on this one. Although your dress is impeccable and I'm so glad you have the confidence to wear that. I definitely would not. You might bring up my confidence levels. This lady right here, I don't know what's going on. Why do you have white on your eyelids? You look like you've just like wetted your eyelids and then dipped your face into baby powder and then left the house like, yeah, this looks really good. I like this. I like the contrast between my brown eyes, my white eyeshadow, 
and my blue bangs. I'm gonna have to pass. I do apologise. I feel bad doing this. I feel like as a person, I should not be one to say, where are all the really good looking Sims right now? Although the females are definitely getting away with this more than the randomised male Sims. Maybe that just proves that I'm way more bisexual towards women than I am towards men. But I don't know. I feel like the men had a drastic, drastic randomization process where the women are doing okay out of it. Like this lady. Yes, she's got green hair. Yes, I probably wouldn't date anyone with green hair in real life, but she's out there and she's wacky and I kind of like it and enjoy it. So I'm going to say I would, I would take this lady out on a date perhaps maybe in the cinema in the dark where I probably couldn't see her but who knows look at this adorable little mouse why when I am trying to make a cute sim none of these randomized sims come up look at how adorable she is she is one of the cutest female sims I have ever seen in my entire life she's just so tiny and petite and adorable and I would 100% smash her. Like what? How is this happening? The one video where I wanted to be like pass, 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 awful, awful, awful. This is randomization at its finest. I literally get all the fine sims. What is going on in the world? I would 100% smash this chick. She looks great and she probably has more style than me and what the heck? She's a sim. You shouldn't look like this. You are randomized, okay? You're meant to look awful and make me feel better about my life. You aren't meant to make me fall in love with you and want to take you out on a date. That's what my girlfriend's for. This video was meant to be sarcasm and now I just feel personally attacked right now. So guys, that is it for my Smash or Pass video Sims 4 edition. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know if you've ever had a randomized Sim that you would secretly smash on the side, maybe, if they were real. I get tweets all the time when I upload like a creator sim and people are like, damn, I wish they were real. And I know there's way more of us out there than you let on. It's nothing to be embarrassed by. They're computer pixels. We know they could never be real, but sometimes sims are just cute, okay? You have to admit it. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye guys.